Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham and today we're going to go over installing the OLED uh, 0.96 inch screen for the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's a real easy setup. There's actually only like four wires that you need to connect and from this we'll be able to display CPU, memory, uh, IP address, uh, as well as disk space. Um, this setup assumes that you already have your Raspberry Pi pretty much set up, updated, and have the latest greatest patches on it. Uh, from there, really all that we need is the Raspberry Pi itself, a micro SD card with the OS on it, uh, the latest version of Raspberry Pi Lite, and the I2C OLED 96-inch uh, uh, display itself. Um, once you have all those, and you know, you should be ready to go uh, for this part of the install. For the wiring of the Raspberry Pi, uh, basically you're going to be connecting the display ground to the Raspberry Pi ground. Uh, this can be different on different Raspberry Pis. Uh, I normally use Raspberry Pi 3 or the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, usually this is pin 6. Um, from there, you're going to also have to connect your, your power or your VCC, uh, which is pin 1, at least on the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, and then you have your SCL and your SDA. Uh, that's going to be on pins 3 and on pins 5 on the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, you can look this up uh, on either one of the, the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 or Raspberry Pi 4 to, just to verify to make sure you got that set up properly. Um, after that, let's just go through and actually log into our Pi and make sure we have our Pi uh, up and running. To make sure that we got the I2C enabled, uh, let's verify that in the Raspberry Pi config with just the easy sudo raspy config. From there, we're going to go to our interface options, and from there to your I2C. Um, from here, uh, it says, would you like to in, uh, turn it on or enable it? We're going to say yes. Uh, once we say yes, we hit enter, and then we finish that. Uh, we are going to need to reboot, so let's send a reboot command for that. Okay, once it's been rebooted, uh, now we're just going to install some programs. Uh, we're going to need the uh, Python SM bus. We're also going to need the I2C tools. Looks like this has already been installed. Next, we're going to need the Python 3 pip. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen real quick so we can get back up to the top. Uh, next one is a, uh, a pip install of the Adafruit. And this is going to take a little bit of time. And then we're also going to do the pip3 install image. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen again. Next, I'm going to be installing the libopenjp2-7. Uh, I've had issues installing sometimes, and this is one of the packages that pops up. That's why I'm, I'm adding it here. You may need this or not, but I think it's best just to have it just in case. And next is the uh, libtiff5. Okay, now that those are installed, the next big thing is to verify that our I2C bus is actually working and communicating to the uh, L OLED. Um, so I'm going to clear screen here real quick. And the command that we need to run is this sudo I2C detect dash Y. And we can see here that underneath the uh, 3C or the 30 and then the C there's a 3C there uh, that means that we are communicating to our uh, OLED screen which is great um, next steps here we're actually going to uh, do some more uh, installations using Python 3 okay next we're going to use the uh, Python 3 and we're going to install the, the pip module and upgrade the pip setup tools and wheel next we're going to get the git uh, application our client okay 
and I'm going to clear the screen again. And then here we're actually going to uh, use git. To clone the GitHub from Adafruit for the SSD 1306. And that is all cloned. Now we're going to need to change directories into the Adafruit. Once we change directories into that Adafruit directory that we just pulled down from Git, we're going to run the Python 3 setup pi install. Next, we're going to clear screen again. We're going to do a quick list. Change directory into examples. Do another quick list. And we see that there's a stats pi. And once we're in the examples directory, we're just going to run a quick Python 3 stats. If your, if your display is actually showing your IP address, CPU load, memory, and disk, then that part is working, so that's a great sign. Uh, what we're going to do from here is actually uh, put Control-C to cancel this, and then uh, let's change back into our home directory. We're going to run the git command again, and we're going to clone. But this time we're going to clone from uh, my git site, or GitHub site. And here's your Raspberry Pi OLED. Uh, there's the location of that. So we're going to git clone this. And we're going to change directory into that Raspberry Pi OLED display, do a quick list. And then here we can actually do the Python again. And that will clear up that display so there's no like slash Bs and other type of uh, things displayed on there. It'll show your host, as well as your IP address, CPU, memory, disk, and stuff like that. That's my favorite one. Here's what the display will look like. This is my favorite one. Um, gives you a good idea of, you know, what your temperature is with icons, which I think is a little bit uh, neater than the actual uh, text, but it, everyone's their own. Uh, if you would, please like, subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you'd like me to keep doing stuff like this, please let me know, or other things you'd like me to do. Uh, I'd be more than happy to do that. Again, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video.